The federal government today announced new water protection rules for PFAS. It requires filtering the forever chemicals from drinking water in an effort to prevent disease and cancers. Minnesota will receive $15 million in federal funds to help pay for detection and treatment systems. PFAS chemicals were used to make non-stick and water-resistant products. Under the new regulations, at least five community water systems in the East Metro have unsafe levels of PFAS. Our Adam Del Rosso reports from Hastings. PFAS or forever chemicals have been on the minds of city officials here in Hastings for a while now, but new EPA guidelines could make for some quicker changes. Three years. That's how long the city of Hastings has to get their water in compliance with the new EPA PFAS guidelines. The limit for the cancer causing chemicals, four parts per trillion. That threshold puts five of the city's six wells above the safe drinking standard. The water contamination, the water levels haven't changed in Hastings. It doesn't, it doesn't mean we've had a new surgence of a chemical in our water. Public Works Director Ryan Stemsky says they've been monitoring PFAS levels for nearly two decades, and some progress to clean it up with three new treatment plants is already underway. We're committed to being shovel ready yet this summer. Um, we're, we're moving at lightning speed to be in that position, and so know that your city staff is on the issue. The estimated cost of the project, nearly $70 million, which means the hunt for funding is on. It would double our residents' water bills uh, in two years, triple it in four years, uh, just really an unrealistic burden for them. Uh, based on that, we're certainly out there trying to look for grants and federal assistance. In the meantime, Stemsky says the choice to buy bottled water instead is being left up to residents. City officials say a community meeting will be held within the next 30 days. As soon as that's scheduled, we'll let you know. Reporting in Hastings, Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News.